All right, today's video, I will try to discuss how the pin setter clutch system works. The gearbox that you see here consists of the one to one, two to one, four to one detector assembly. There's linkages everywhere going off to do certain things. But right here on the back, there is a clutch assembly right here. It's kind of hard to see. There's a couple of shoes in there in the clutch assembly but right here there is a cam on the two to one there that runs this guy right here which is the clutch arm and there's the stop arm that the clutch arm is sitting on right now anytime that arm wants to go down and that little stop arm is in the way it lifts up on the clutch assembly and basically disengages the plate which is right here on the back with the whole clutch assembly it's kind of unique so let me run it through a cycle and you'll see every time this guy right here hits the lobe which is on right now the arm will want to drop and the machine will always run until that stop arm goes underneath the arm and then when it hits the lobe here the arm tries to go down it hits the arm pulls out on the clutch, pin setter stops. Let me run it through a cycle and you'll see how that kind of works here, all in unison. So the arm drops, here comes the lobe, arm drops, lobe again, arm drops, and then on the fourth one, coming around right there. It lifts up, but the stop arm is in place, so the pin setter stops. Let me reset it again and we'll start the cycle again. There's one, two, and you'll see the arm drop every time that lobe hits. Three, four. So on every fourth one, every fourth one, you'll hit that lobe right there. Arm tries to go down, stop arm is in the way, clutch is disengaged pin setter stops so I'll run it close again with the clutch system on here and you'll see the stop arm get out of the way and I'll show you from the other side in a minute kind of how it knows when to go back and forth so let me run it through again and you can watch the arm here let me zoom in a little bit there One. Two, three, and then here comes the fourth. Machine stop cycling. Now let me get down and I'll go around to the other side and show you how that stop arm system works. Let me get down off the machine. Get around the other side here. Now, here's the clutch arm from the other side. If I can get a shot in there of it. There's the stop arm right through the, right through there's the stop arm. And it's kind of tied into the dash pot right here. So when this drops down, there's a little arm back here that pushes the clutch arm out of the way and keeps it out of the way until it goes down and then allows the clutch arm to come back. Let me run it through the cycle and hopefully it'll make sense when you see it. And where that dash pot comes up, the arm goes forward. And that's what makes the clutch stop arm come up and get underneath the clutch arm hard to see but it's on this arm it's up in well, it's hard to see it but it's right through there and whenever this comes back up that moves forward and allows the clutch stop arm to come back into place it's kind of hard to explain but basically that's the clutch system you see a little better on the clutch system here there's the shoes inside the clutch assembly and then on the back side, 
so I hope that makes sense it's kind of hard to explain it all on video like that but uh hope it gives you some understanding